In the shadow of Parliament Hill, protesters have no plans to ease the gridlock. I ain't moving. Simple as that. They can threaten us as all they want, but I'm not moving. Despite new emergency powers to freeze their bank accounts and suspend their vehicle insurance, they hold their ground. I don't think this is going to happen. This is just a scare tactics. We had floods in BC. There was no emergency act. So now all of a sudden you have bouncy castles and truck drivers. This is an emergency. Come on. But the public safety minister says for some demonstrators, the aim isn't legitimate protest. What is driving this movement is a very small, organized group that is driven by an ideology to overthrow the government. With the Emergencies Act in effect, law enforcement has new tools to respond, such as declaring certain areas like legislatures and war monuments no-go zones. So far, there are few signs of stepped-up enforcement. Isn't it true that the Prime Minister's actions could serve to actually make things worse and not make things better? Exactly. The right honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, this is about keeping Canadians safe. The Prime Minister says action is coming. There will be consequences for people who are breaking the law and people who are supporting those who are breaking the law. But the situation in the nation's capital remains in deadlock. Freedom! With the party-like atmosphere drawing growing frustration from officials. I wanted to go up there and poke that hot tub um, myself and let the water flow out of it and unplug that damn bouncy castle because it's just a symbol of the frustration that's gone on for 19 days in the capital. Ottawa police say they now have the resources to bring the occupation to a safe end. We believe we're at a turning point in this demonstration. Olivia, what do we know about the police plans to, to bring this demonstration to an end? Well, Ian, Ottawa police are expected to share those details soon in a private meeting with their police services board. They appear to have an advantage now that the number of protesters has shrunk to a core group of people. Police say fewer than 150 demonstrators remained downtown last night with 360 vehicles, a substantial drop from the beginning of this protest when there were over 4,000 vehicles downtown. But as for when police will move in, Ian, that remains a tactical secret. All right, Olivia, thank you.